Hi, my name's Michelle Bush, and I'm with the Esri team. We get lots of customer stories that come across our desks, but I wanted to share this one with you all today. It's about our ArcGIS Survey 123 feature reports. So Erica and Danny, would you mind introducing yourselves, please? Hi, I'm Danielle Almeida, and I'm Watershed Preservation Restriction Coordinator with the Department of Conservation and Recreation, Division of Water Supply Protection. And I'm Erica Keft. I am the GIS coordinator for the Massachusetts DCR Division of Water Supply Protection. So Danny, tell us a little bit about how you've been using the ArcGIS Survey123 feature reports. We use Survey123 uh, for our routine inspections of our watershed preservation restrictions. We have about 150 of these WPRs, watershed preservation restrictions, that we try and monitor every couple of years. So using Survey123, we collect uh, photographs and descriptions of what we see, and then we uh, use the feature report to create our final monitoring report, which we have for our records. And we'll use these to refer to if a landowner has questions or um, for future monitoring visits. And then they can also be used if there's ever a violation on a property, um, they could be used in legal proceedings. So these reports are actually being used as legal documents for compliance. Yes. So they need to be uh, consistent and easy to read and have um, reliable information in them. Erica, can you tell us a little bit about what went into creating those reports? Sure. Um, so we started the process of converting the WPR monitoring workflow from a paper-based workflow about two years ago. And it was a pretty collaborative process. And we started it with the report. So we decided what we wanted that final report template to look like. And the previous WPR coordinator at the time, you know, outlines what information she wanted to collect how she wanted it to be collected. And then I took that and I built a survey around that. So now our monitors collect their information and they export it to a Word document that pretty much needs no additional work, which is really fantastic. Great, so can you show us what one of those reports would look like? Sure, we have a few examples that Danny pulled together. You can see how at the top we have lots of text-based information and then the second half of the report is comprised of our photos and their description tables. With 150 properties and all of the work that you're doing, what kind of results are you seeing so far? By using Survey123 in the feature reports, we've cut the time it takes um, to complete the workflow in half which is pretty amazing. Uh, it used to take about 10 hours per property to start to finish. So that's, you know, doing the pre-monitoring work, going out to do the visit, and then writing the report. Took around 10 hours, and now we're finding it takes closer to five hours per property. What has the response from the rest of your team been like? I think it's been great. Um, for me as a user and the program coordinator, I really like how quickly the report comes together and the finished product that I have for our records. Erica, what benefits are you seeing on your end? My role in all of this is kind of to develop these tools for our users. As users see a product like what Danny has, they say, hey, I could really use this for this project or wow, it'd be really great if I didn't ever have to write that report again and I could just collect that data in the field and then be done with it. So I would say, over time, as other people within our division see how these products can be used, I get a lot of interest in how other people can start leveraging these for themselves. And we have many products and projects now that utilize Survey123 and the feature report uh, templates. Okay, well, thank you for sharing your story with us today and for being awesome Esri users. And thank you for joining us and listening in for this customer story. You can find more information on ArcGIS Survey 123 and our new feature reports on our website.